Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. Greetings. So remote, yet so beautiful. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four, maybe five more sheets cut for the barricades. And then we'll have to find more. That's gonna be a problem. I dragged the last of those cylinders out of the Soviet prison a few summers back. After that... Back to using a hammer and chisel. There's gotta be more. The Soviets left everything behind. We spent two full days combing the old buildings. That's the last of the fuel. Don't worry, you'll like the chisel. It never runs dry. <sighs> You're making great strides, young ones. I almost believe some of you might be passable hunters someday. But here is where we begin to separate the wheat from the chaff. Today, while the sun is up, we stalk deer. Their meat, their skin, antlers, even their bones are what keep us all alive. Respect the deer, for it is as close to God as we are. Find them by their bedding, where the grass is pressed flat, or near berry bushes where they feed. Strike true. Don't let it feel a moment of fear or pain. Remember, 
I will be judging you, and whoever brings me a stag will be judged most favorably. You there! Maybe you'll be able to help us with these machines. What can I do? These invaders have a new tool to threaten us with. Small helicopters piloted by machine. Drones, they tell me. The things don't fight back, but they've got what looks like a camera inside. They're mapping the valley, and we're losing our advantage. I've been able to bring a few of them down, but with those weapons I expect you'll have better luck. Will you help? I'll bet I can take a few of them down. The more the better. Come see me again when they're dealt with.
you planning on bringing more of those things down? Still working on it, but I will. come from the air. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those two old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial assault but we will turn their eagerness into our advantage. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must wear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will we be victorious. For now, we light the fires, warn the others in the valley. Today, we win by... Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous in the upper village. Understood? Yes! Understood! Good. Now go. The Prophet be with you. Hello? Hello. <clears throat> Are we sure this pine resin will burn? You should have seen the last batch. Once it caught, we couldn't put it out. Even if it won't, the smell alone would be enough to drive them away. Trinity being here, the people they're hurting, that's down to me. I led them here. Again, isn't it? People are suffering because of my actions. No. No, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. Trinity would have found this place sooner or later. Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the valley. If you light the signal tower, 
They'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. Followers of the Prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria. of some sort, but I can't quite read the words. An iron coin with one side cut and shaped into a crude claw tool, perhaps to remove nails. Best seat in the house. to be a map of some sort, but I can't quite read the words. Yeah. 
Aurora, the physician. The road to Katesh was long and hard. Infirmity, illness, and injury abounded. Aurora was a believer trained in the ways of Hippocrates and the great Roman healers. It is because of her that so many survived the journey to Katesh. It is her legacy that knowledge of healing continues to be passed down among believers.